Barking, Havering and Redbridge University Hospital, we're very proud of the high quality services we provide for our mothers and babies. Our experienced, qualified and friendly staff are here to support you through your pregnancy, labour and postnatal period to ensure that you're kept informed about your care and that your individual needs are met. This short film will introduce you to our maternity unit, which is based at Queen's Hospital in Romford, and will give you an idea of the services we offer, so you'll know exactly what to expect when you arrive. At Barking, Havering and Redbridge Hospitals, we are very proud of our maternity services because we offer a high quality, efficient service to all our ladies, with very experienced, friendly, professional staff, who will offer support to you throughout your pregnancy, labour and your postnatal period. We provide specialist care for women at all stages of their pregnancy. Our services include a range of community and hospital-based antenatal clinics, as well as providing free antenatal education classes for women and their partners. All of our maternity staff, both in the community and in the hospital setting, will support you in whatever choices you make. And you can be assured that our highly trained team of professionals are committed to giving our mothers and babies the very highest standard of care possible. Wherever you choose to have your baby, you'll be allocated a named midwife who will answer any questions or concerns you may have. The midwifery-led care will support you in all your choice of how you would like to have your baby. We really would like to work in partnership with you to provide an excellent birth experience for you, your baby and your partner. It was nice just to have the one, one midwife because you're not seeing loads of different people um, and she was pretty much, I don't, I don't actually think she left the room. She was in there from start to finish. We have one of the best fetal medicine units in the area and you'll be offered a wide range of antenatal screening tests. If you require further in-depth antenatal testing, these will be carried out at Queen's Hospital by our highly skilled consultants who are able to perform more complex scans and diagnostic tests. Antenatal clinics for women who require consultant input during their pregnancy are held at Queen's Hospital and King George Hospital. If you are a high-risk lady, we make sure that you get seen at all the appropriate times. Often you get seen more than you would be if you were on the low-risk pathway, but you are seen by all the relevant people that are needed to be seen and you get a little bit of extra TLC. What I enjoy most about my job is um, just uh, reassuring mama and the providing high quality care uh, when they come to us, making sure at the end of the day when mom goes home, they're happy about the care received. Women in the local area can choose from a range of birth options, including birth at home, in the midwifery-led unit, in the Queen's Birth Centre, and for those women who have medical complications in the consultant-led labour ward. When we first book a woman, we do give her a choice of where she'd like to deliver her baby. She can either have a home birth if she's very low risk. There's also now the choice at Queen's Hospital of delivering the high risk labour ward or the low risk midwifery led birthing centre. If a family chooses to have a home birth, then we see them through the antenatal period and as long as they're low risk in their pregnancy, we then discuss a birth plan with them and prepare them for delivering their baby at home. The benefits of having your baby at home is you're in your own environment, you're very familiar with your surroundings, you're relaxed, you can have the people that love and care about you there with you all the time, they're not asked to leave the room, so your partner, your mum maybe, or a close friend, some women opt to have a doula by their side. Our state-of-the-art labour ward has 17 dedicated labour and delivery rooms, all of which are en suite and contain modern equipment for all your needs. A consultant is present on the labour ward for 16 hours each day and there are doctors available for 24 hours. Two anaesthetists are available for sighting epidurals and a water birthing pool is also located on the labour ward. There are two obstetric theatres and a recovery suite on the labour ward, so that if a caesarean section is required, there's no delay in delivering your baby. Next door to the theatres is a dedicated maternity high dependency unit for those women who require specialist critical care. This is staffed by experienced nurses, midwives, medical staff and nursery nurses. Our role uh, in the maternity unit is to look after the high-risk women in labour. 
Um, thankfully, many of our women are what we call green patients or low-risk patients, but the women who are, who are high risk for whatever reason, be it blood pressure, maternal illness, or any problems in pregnancy, any growth problems with the baby, will be referred to often as red patients. And it's our role to liaise with the midwives to make a management plan for the women in labour and to support our midwifery colleagues and the patients in labour. Located within the Queen's Hospital is the Queen's Birth Centre. This is a midwife-led unit, providing care for women who are able to choose a more relaxed and natural environment for their birthing experience. The centre is a self-contained unit with eight large ensuite delivery rooms. Two of these rooms have a built-in water birthing pool. Inflatable pools are available in the remainder of the delivery suites. We offer one-to-one -one care in labour as we do elsewhere on the um, maternity unit. We, we have a, a nice, more home-from-home -home environment here, less clinical, and it's, research shows that this sort of environment is very conducive to normal birth. This time it was like I'm going to some private hospital to have a, you know, giving birth to my baby, to be honest. They have all the facilities there. The rooms, especially the one that we were in, because we were one of the, in one of the main birthing pool rooms, it's massive, you've got so much room in there. You have your own room, you have music there, you have TV there. That one-to-one -one care that you get in the birthing centre is amazing. To know that you've got that person there with you the whole time. A triage system operates within the labour ward at Queen's Hospital to assess women in order to provide appropriate advice and care. Triage is basically a 24-hour service for pregnant women. We see them from 20 weeks and above. Um, the ladies come in with um, different ailments. We, um, it's like an a and &E, so if you're in labour, you think you're in labour, you come. If your waters break, anything that's abnormal in pregnancy, an acute onset of any, any abnormalities, you come here to be checked. Triage is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We are here all the time and we are fully staffed. We have three members of staff on at any one time, plus a doctor making four of us on. Women who require closer observation during pregnancy may be admitted to our antenatal ward. There are 16 beds, eight of which are in side rooms where your partner may stay with you in the early stages of labour. Dedicated midwives, obstetricians and healthcare assistants will care for you throughout your stay. The antenatal ward would be used for our induction of labour women. Also, if we've got high-risk women who need to be admitted for um, regular monitoring prior to delivery, or someone with generally high-risk cases, um, centre preview, different outline conditions that need to be kept a close eye on. We also have facilities for women who might require a caesarean section. So they would come into the ward fast and they would already have had a pre-anaesthetic checklist on. So they arrive on the day, they're on an elective list, they'll have a midwife in attendance to see them straight through to the theatre and to recover them post-delivery and to transfer to the postnatal ward. Following the birth of your baby, you may go home as early as six hours after the birth or stay for one or two days depending on how you're feeling and the type of delivery you've had. A team of midwives, nursery nurses, doctors and maternity care assistants will look after you. Your baby will have a thorough postnatal check by a midwife who has extensive specialist training or by a paediatrician. A hearing screening test will also be carried out. When you leave the hospital, your care will be transferred to the community midwives who will plan the remainder of your postnatal care with you. I've got a fantastic team of midwives working here and we all work very closely together, we all enjoy working together. I think in general being a midwife is a great pleasure and an opportunity to stay with a woman in a, such a beautiful experience that she's going through. What I think is very good about Queen's uh, is that the midwives and the doctors work very closely and very well together. They are making us feel so special when we go there and uh, they were so kind, so helpful. If we were to have a second child, definitely back into the birthing centre. Definitely. At Queen's Hospital, we offer you a safe and high quality service at all times. Our aim is to be sensitive to your physical and emotional needs and to be flexible in our care so that your individual wishes are met. Above all, we want to keep you well informed 
so that you can make informed choices and have the birthing experience that you want. Thank you.